Hello and welcome to another video. And I'm being asked with increasing regularity how I stay lean all the time. Now people will actually use that as evidence to say that I'm taking drugs. They'll say there's no way you can possibly be lean all year round without being on something. And that's actually part of the reason that there are so many steroid accusations being thrown around on YouTube at the moment. In today's video, I'm gonna explain how I stay lean all year round and in doing so, show you why saying it's impossible to do that without taking drugs is moronic. So if you enjoy laughing at people for being stupid, and potentially learning some mildly interesting information, then drop this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's go. Okay, we're in. So how do I stay lean 365 days a year and how is it possible without taking drugs? The first and most significant explanation is a crazy phenomenon I like to call science. So let's look at the underlying logic here, right? The mechanics behind staying lean. So to stay lean, initially you have to get lean, okay? Now I think everyone can accept that it's possible to get lean without taking drugs. Like if you think you need to take drugs in order to get lean, then you're an idiot and probably quite a fat idiot. Anyway, you're lean, right? You're there, you've made it. So at this point, all you need to do is eat at a caloric maintenance that means eat enough calories that you don't gain any weight, but that you don't lose any weight, and you maintain that. Now, assuming that your training is solid and that you're eating enough protein, you won't gain any fat, you'll hold on to your muscle, and you might even over time, depending on your genetics and your training age, gain a little bit of muscle. But, and this is the crucial bit, because you're not gaining any fat, you will permanently maintain that lean looking physique. So essentially, you'll be lean all year. So if you take an individual who already has a decent amount of muscle mass, all they've got to do is sit in maintenance, and they're gonna stay lean. And like I said, because they might even gain a little bit of muscle mass along the way, that's going to give them the illusion of actually getting leaner. But again, all of that is possible without taking drugs. Now, the only time you could legitimately suspect someone of taking something is when they stay lean for a long period of time, or even get slightly leaner over that period, and they're gaining a significant amount of muscle. I don't mean like the little marginal gains I spoke about a second ago. I'm talking about significant, clear gains in muscle mass. And that's because unless you are a beginner, it is impossible to gain a serious amount of muscle mass without gaining fat at the same time. And this is where the whole you can't be shredded and big argument originates from. And although there is some truth to this, it's really, really important that you realize the difference between looking big and actually being big. And that takes me on nicely to my next explanation as to how I stay lean all year round, and that is that I don't. Just like there is a massive difference between looking big and actually being big, there is also a massive difference between looking lean and actually being lean. Now, I talked about this at length in a recent video I made about body fat, so you can go and watch that if you wanna hear about this stuff. But basically, in short, someone can look lean without actually being particularly lean for a number of reasons. The main one being where you deposit body fat. So I'm a good example of this. I deposit very little body fat on my stomach. Instead, I put it on my lower back and on my legs and places like that. What that means is I can have a relatively high body fat percentage up to kind of 30 14, even 15% and still have fairly visible abs. So in this picture, for example, I'm actually sitting at around 13 or 14% body fat. But I think a lot of people would assume it was a lot lower than that. What that means is I have a lot more leeway. So I can actually get up to a relatively high body fat percentage and people will still say that I'm lean. And that also comes down to the pictures you take. Remember, unless you see someone in real life, in the flesh, it's very hard to judge how lean they are. Like no one is gonna post a picture of them looking crappy and fat in terrible lighting. They're gonna make sure the lighting is good. They're gonna make sure the angles are good. They're probably gonna edit the photo a bit and they're gonna make sure they're contracting their abs and they're posing really well. And all of these factors make an enormous difference as far as how lean that individual looks. And the same goes for muscle mass, right? Someone can take a picture of themselves after a massive workout with a huge pump, throw a couple of filters on it, and suddenly they have the illusion of having gained about 10 pounds of muscle without gaining any fat. The truth is they're not any bigger, they just have a sick chest and shoulder pump and they found decent lighting, good angles, and they're striking a good pose. But yeah, the point I'm making is that just like a lot of other YouTubers and people in the fitness industry, I don't actually stay that lean all year round, I just give the illusion that I do. So just remember, the way someone looks in a picture and even sometimes a video is not necessarily their appearance all the time. And the final explanation as to how I stay lean all year round comes down to genetics and lifestyle. Now first things first, and I talk about this all the time, so I'm amazed that I'm still asked about it, but I have an outrageous metabolism, right? My maintenance is around 5,000 calories. That means it's very hard for me not to be lean. Like for me to gain a significant amount of fat, I need to eat like five and a half to 6,000 calories a day. So like I said, it's very hard for me not to be lean. And anyone who watches my videos will know that I'm currently trying to bulk and it's freaking horrendous. Like it sucks. I'm eating so much food and I'm gaining weight at a ridiculously slow rate. So yeah, for me personally, staying lean isn't an impressive effort. It's actually more impressive for me to not be lean. That requires a lot more work on my part. But even aside from my metabolism, I train for like two plus hours five to six days a week and I'm also very active outside of the gym so I have a one and a half year old son I used to be a PE teacher I don't really like sitting around so I do spend a lot of my time on my feet doing stuff and all of that stuff contributes towards my TDE 
PE and ultimately me staying lean. And finally, and this is crucial, I don't want to not be lean. You know, like you need to remember that my income revolves around me looking lean. And like in the summer, particularly when it's nice outside, I want to be able to go to the beach and take my shirt off and not look fat. You know, like I could go on a crazy bulk rate, like 10,000 calories a day, and I would gain muscle, but at the same time, I'd gain a lot of fat and I'd look terrible. So all that means is that when I bulk, like I am currently, I never sit too far above my maintenance. So bear in mind, like I said earlier, my maintenance is very high. So it's hard for me to sit too far above it anyway. In fact, a lot of the time, I end up at maintenance or below it some days because it's very hard for me to eat that many calories on a consistent basis. But by doing this, I ensure that I'm never gaining too much weight and so too much fat. And so even if I bulk for like three or four months, I'm never gonna gain that much. Much fat and even if I do it's gonna go on places like my legs and my lower back like I said and so I can still maintain a lean looking physique in pictures and in videos and so to come around full circle I guess yes I do stay like semi lean all year round and I've explained how I do that but in truth like I said I'm definitely not shredded all year round and I'm not even you know that lean for large parts of the year but like I said that is how I do it and it certainly doesn't require me to take any drugs in order to achieve that and that is where I'm going to end the video guys because I think I've covered everything I need to cover plus it's like 22 degrees outside and I can literally see the beach from my window so I'm desperate to get outside buy an ice cream strip naked rub the ice cream all over my naked body jump in the sea get arrested for gross and decent exposure get released on bail and then repeat the process